Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to show you how to get started with the Smart Docs feature, which allows you to create document templates for things like quotes, contracts, proposals, invoices, which you can later fill and populate from your pipe drive data. This streamlines your sales process for you and your sales reps as you create these documents, and it reduces friction for your leads. It makes it much quicker and easier to digitally sign for and accept agreements and NDAs, things like that. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up your Pipedrive account, getting more out of you this tool, and automating your sales process, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. Now the Smart Docs feature does require that you either be subscribed to the professional subscription here. If you are, great. It's included in your subscription, there's no additional fee. If you are on the Essential or the Advanced plan, you can purchase the Smart Docs feature as an add-on, and that's gonna be an additional fee for your company on top of your regular subscription. To get started with Smart Docs, you're gonna to want to open up one of your deals and click on the Documents tab here. You then need to connect a cloud storage account. This is where your document templates and the documents you actually create will live. And so you can either select an existing Google or Microsoft OneDrive account that you've already connected to Pipedrive, or you can connect a new account. And you just simply follow the on-screen instructions and this is where the documents will live. So when you create a template, or if you use that template to create an actual live document, they're gonna live in your online Google Drive or OneDrive account. Next, we can go ahead and create our first document template. So under the Templates tab, I'm gonna click Create New document and I can create, I can, I've can. i got my Google account connected, I can either create a, a Google Doc, but I can also connect with Google Spreadsheets or I can even create a presentation. So I'm gonna create a contract, so we're just gonna use a normal Google Doc. At the top here, I'll give my template a name, so we're gonna call this Consulting Agreement. And just to save time, I've got a basic agreement ready to go. And then on the right hand side here, you can see different fields in Pipedrive that we can use to populate this document. So I could either insert fields from my deal, like the title of the deal, the value of the deal, if I want the, the, the dollar numerical value to appear in here, uh, the deal owner, if I want things like the salesperson's name to appear in here, I can insert that type of information. I can insert details about the contact person, like the contact person's full name, email, phone number, things like that or organization data. So in this case, I'm gonna grab the organization name, so I'm just gonna click there, and I'm gonna copy that uh, variable name, and then I'm going to paste. And so you see it pastes in this little placeholder, which later will fill in with the actual organization name. I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna get the organization address, and I'm gonna put that information there. And then towards the end of my agreement, uh, I want to put in the date, and to grab the date, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the time options, and I'm going to use the short today's date, and I can insert that there. If you are creating quotes or invoices, you can also have a look at the product data. If you want to insert like a product table that shows what products have been quoted for, those product details are really useful as well. But for this agreement, I'm just going to stick with that for now. I'm also going to organize this uh, template into my uh, contracts category, just if I have lots of documents, it's useful to have different categories there as well. And so I'm pretty happy with this. This is now ready to go. So I'm gonna close that. And if I ever want to look at my templates, I can open my gallery here. So here are all my templates and I can uh, view them by category if I want to look at different invoicing options, quotes, or there we go, there's my consulting agreement there. Now, when I'm ready to create my actual live document, uh, I can simply come over to the Documents tab and I can see any documents that I've already created. I haven't created any yet. And I'm gonna choose Create New from Template. So I can pick my template, Consulting Agreement. And I do have an opportunity to edit the template, but be careful doing this because this will edit the template ongoing. It's All these edits are gonna carry forward on an ongoing basis. So I'm not gonna make any changes. I'm just gonna simply click here to Use to create my document. And so now Pipedrive is pulling that information from the contact, from the organization, into the, the agreement, and it's populating that, that document. 
And so here we go. We can see it's been filled in with Waffle Inc and the address of the company. Down at the bottom here, you can see it's filled in with today's date. And so this is now ready to go. I then have a number of ways that I can share this. I can either share this as a link. And so I can copy this link here. I can send this in an email. If I want to just send somebody a link where they can click and view it, I can also choose to track if they've opened it and I'll get an email when, when they open it for the first time in this case. I can also download the document as a PDF if I just want to download a PDF version and again, send that as an email. If I need to make any changes, I can edit right here. Or because this is a, an agreement, I'm going to use this request signatures feature. And this is pretty cool. So the first thing I can do here is I can set the signing order. So I can say, right, if, if it does need to be signed in a particular order, I can rearrange these into the order in which the recipients need to sign. In this case, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna disable that. I can choose to enable an authentication code, which is an extra level of verification. It's gonna send the signer an email saying, please verify your email. It's an extra level of um, authentication, which you can learn about here. Uh, I'm not gonna do that in this case. And then I can down here put in the names and emails of the people that need to sign. So I'm just going to, for this demo, just say that only I need to sign for now. Uh, so I'm going to delete the second recipient and I'm going to put in a custom message and I, I can type in what I want to say when this email gets sent. Now, before I send this, I can also mark up my document and show exactly where I need a signature. I could choose to get initials. Maybe I'll get an initial on the first page. So I'm gonna drag this over to here and I'm gonna require an initial here. I could do that on every page if I want, but I'm not going to for this example. And on the last page here, I'm gonna add a text field where I need people to type their names. So uh, the consultant, Paul Miners, I need to put in my name here. I need a signature here. Uh, we need another text field for the title here and we'll put the date here as well. If I click on any of these fields and, and click edit, I can change which signer is signing where. So these are all being signed by me. So I'm gonna put it in that consultant column and I can change my formatting options. I can specify if this field is required or not. And so once this is ready to go, I can hit send. And so here's an example of the email that the recipient will receive. I can click the review and sign button. And so here's what the recipient would see. They have some options up here to decline to sign or they can download this as a PDF. They can see the different fields that need to be signed. So I can choose the next field required and I can put in my initials here, PM. Let's go to the next field. I can type in my name, title, and then I can put in my signature here. This is a signature. And then I'm gonna put in the date let's say uh, 06 of March, there we go. So once all of my required fields are filled in, I can finish signing. The recipient will then be asked to confirm that they are happy signing, that this is a binding contract as a digital signature, and then they can click sign. This is an example of the email that I receive as the salesperson saying that the recipient has now signed or that a signature has been added. And then here is the email that I received saying that the, the document has now been completely signed. Every recipient has signed it and I can choose to download the, the finished PDFs as well. If I look back at my deal, I can see my document has been completely signed. I can see we've collected one of one signatures. So if I was requesting multiple, I can see how many have been signed and how many signatures are remaining. And I can choose to view the signers and, and who has signed. Uh, I, there will also be an option if there is somebody who still needs to sign, I can actually choose to send a reminder as well. And if I need to, I can download the finished PDF. But again, this is stored online in my Google Drive account. There are also options to view an audit trail if you want to see who's viewed and when people signed, everything is timestamped. And there are options to download either the original PDF or I'm just gonna download the signed PDF. And here is what it looks like. So there's my signed PDF. If I go to the last page, I can see it signed there. The other slightly quicker way that I can request a signature is when I have my document ready and I click request signatures, just like I did before, I can change my recipients and I'm gonna click next. 
And then on this page, instead of marking up my document like you saw me do before where I put in where the signature and text fields need to go, I can skip that and I can just hit send. This is, it's gonna ask me and it's gonna say, hey, you haven't marked up the document, but now the, the recipient will get an email and the signing process is slightly different. When they click the link in the email, instead of on this page, filling in their name and drawing in their signature like you saw me do before, they can just click sign the document and they can type their name. I'm gonna put in my verification code and I'm, con I'm gonna confirm that, yep, I'm happy to sign this. After they sign, the agreement looks a bit like this. So instead of on the last page them actually signing where I would mark up the fields like you saw me do before, instead Pipedrive appends this sort of digital signature page to the end of the contract. So slightly different way of signing. There's a little bit, bit less friction in this method because you're not having to um, mark up the fields and put in where you want signatures and things to go. Uh, it just depends on whether you're happy with this type of signature or not. So that was an example of using Smart Docs to create and send a, an agreement to be digitally signed, but we've seen clients use this for all sorts of paperwork, whether it's onboarding documents and welcome packs, quoting, invoicing, any kind of paperwork that you need to create where you need to populate those documents with information from your deals, that's where Smart Docs can help you to save some time. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like that one-on-one -on -one help with setting up Pipedrive, automating your sales process, and getting more out of this awesome tool, then again, click the link in that description below to learn more about our consulting options. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.